What is going on? I looped back again? I need to look closely around this place again. Maybe I can break out of the cycle. are but puzzles in this place. Hmm. You have a strange sense on you. You must be. I have heard the whispers of the leaves that fall in Fixtral Garden. The flames weep and profess to me that a powerful mortal approaches. They carry the scent of a great battle. With none other than Fantilia. You... You are the one who drove Fantilia away. <sighs> what power. Your presence alone is delicious enough to make one tremble. Let me taste you, please. One bite. Just one bite. I can't wait to savor you. These are no ordinary ingenia. Of course not. They are mere pawns dancing to my whim. Crush them. Smash them to pieces. What a peppery fighting spirit. Such an addictive flavor. Let me see. And who defeated Fantilia? I wonder what they taste like. <laughs> you fought well. You're fighting for your survival, after all. I'll take that as my invitation to inhabit you for a while. Are we? Impressive willpower! How painful! How delectable! You're different from anyone else I've ever possessed. But what is this at your core? A sun? <laughs> it burns! Worry not. I have no interest in making you my home. I'll be gone before you know it. <laughs> Let's get along while it lasts. Shall we? You can call me Cirrus. I only want to leave this place. I have no desire to harm you. Allow me to explain what's happening. The Sanjo natives call it a ghost lock. You're walking in a circle, and no amount of walking will get you out of it. So, I'm going to help you break free of the circle that Furinox created. And you're going to help me evade the judges of the Ten Lords Commission. <laughs> it's a win-win! How does that sound? You mean the talismans left behind by little lost fox judge? Those won't help you. <laughs> now that I'm possessing you, I can make you see things that you couldn't see before. <laughs> what a stubborn fool. You won't ever get out of here without my help. <laughs> anyway, I'm not here to ask your opinion. As a courtesy, I shall leave you intact for the time being. As soon as I get what I want, I'll be gone. Now, go and look at those talismans again. The paper dolls. You'll know where to go. <laughs> go. Find all those clues your judge friend left behind. Find the talismans. You can trust me. I want to leave this place too. We are useful to each other. 
In any case, it doesn't matter if you don't trust me. It's not like you can be rid of me. Talisman's float. Pay attention. understand? This story of the supernatural is in the illusory maze for a reason. It contains the clue to help us get out of here. Come back and read it again if you need to. will not open without the proper courtesies. Return from where you came, visitors. will not open without the proper courtesy. The door will not open without the problem. Stop! 
Do you remember our deal? You need to help me evade capture. <laughs> that judge? I can taste her fear from miles away. That coward has no right calling herself a judge. But that thing attached to her is the tricky part. That's something I don't wish to face. Forget about the judge. Just get us both out of here. Give it up. Gwenaifen was probably eaten by the Heliobi already. Huh? How can that be? If that could happen to someone as lively as Miss Gwenaifen, that means I'm in even more danger. Why don't you take a guess? Uh, you can find the way out, right? Please take me with you. Oh, not this again. You're a judge of the Ten Lords Commission. Why are you always begging others for help? You know I'm not cut out to be a judge. I thought maybe if I worked long enough in the Ten Lords Commission, I'd get braver. But now, I know it's impossible. <laughs> Useless brat. Why was I sealed in with someone like you? You talk tough all day long, then let both of us get stuck in a trap. Who's the useless brat now? There's no point in following me. I'm leaving, and you're not coming with me. Goodbye. Beast? From a taxonomic perspective, I believe you're closer to that definition. The Ten Lords Commission needs to overhaul their hiring criteria. How did someone as useless as you ever become a judge? <laughs> hey, cut it out! I'm the only one around here who gets to tell this kid off! Me and those other judges! Got that? Wait. Hold on. <laughs> I smell something familiar. Sears, it's you. Still a fan of your pathetic ventriloquist act, I see. <laughs> oh, this is funny. This is just too funny. I thought you'd already escaped the furnace's destiny of torture. Who would have thought that a piece of Ignamar the Great, the fragment with the most fight in it, would become a guard dog sealed inside a Kwai baby? Oh, forgive me. Did I say guard dog? No, 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 that won't do. You're just a guard dog's tail, right? Just a tail, a tail, a tail. <laughs> Laugh all you can, coward. I'm gonna swallow you whole the second you leave that boy's body. <gasps> Terrifying. <laughs> the joke's on you. You couldn't leave that judge's body if you tried. You can't eat her, let alone escape from her. <laughs> Mr. Tail, you're pathetic. Darn it. Uh, think of something, you women. Uh, oh, Mr. Trailblazer, take this talisman and stick it to your body. <laughs> Darn. Hey, boy, say something nice to Wawa. Her crying is like a mosquito in my ear. Emotions are simply delicious. Your sorrowful tears are like bottles of potent wine. <laughs> Does the Sanjo sail through the cosmos? For a Heliobus that enjoys provoking your weak human sentiments, I can assure you there is nothing more amusing. Now, 
don't forget about our deal. I will leave only once I've got what I wanted. Let me devour you at the start. I could have spared you the trouble. <laughs> then I got into the Ten Lords Commission. Everyone there is weird, so I thought I'd found somewhere I belonged. I, I'm just not cut out for it. If I make it back alive, I'm handing in my resignation. Who thought making a heliophobe with a heliobus in her tail hunt heliobi was a good idea? I'm sorry. I've been so useless. I... I'm glad it helped. You hear that? Stop crying! You're useful! And your paper dolls are useful too. Oh, I've had enough of this! As soon as I swallow that coward Cirrus, I'm gonna devour this little crybaby too. What a pity that Mr. Tail is nothing like he used to be. If we still had our old power, we could forget about this maze and devour its creator, Furinox. Your old power? Well, Mr. Tail, seems she knows nothing about your past. Little Missy, do you know why the Heliobi are gathered in this abandoned garden instead of seizing human habitations? Over a thousand years ago, this very garden was the site of an epic battle between the general of the Lafu and the great Heliobus Ignamar. Now that the furnace is broken and the Heliobi have escaped, fragments like us, who once constituted Ignamar the Whole, have returned here with a desire to challenge the general again. The battle between the General and Ignamar was an earth-shaking contest of devastating proportions. Ignamar underwent countless transformations, causing floods, fires, and thunderous landslides. They were locked in a standoff. An evenly matched fight. Evenly matched? Really? The general who fought for the Law Fu against the Heliobus was named Tung Xiao. The Ten Lords Commission records say that Ignamar was soundly defeated by General Tung Xiao. <laughs> of course the human records would flatter their general. The great Ignamar absorbed the power of countless fellow Heliobi, but ultimately underestimated human deceit. They were narrowly defeated by the general. We Heliobi could never condense into physical form after that battle. We scattered into fragments and were sealed into the creation furnace. But there's an exception to everything. Mr. Tail, I thought you'd escaped to freedom. Who could have guessed you'd be sealed in this tiny Foxian girl? <laughs> Humiliating. Sealed my foot! My power was weak when I ran into this fox child. It was bad luck, nothing more. When I was littler, I saw a ball of fire that looked like it was about to turn to embers. I felt sorry for it, so I picked it up and put it on my tail. And then, Mr. Tail tried to eat me! If the judges hadn't arrived, it would have been over! Bah, I did no such thing! You're barely big enough to be an appetizer! Uh, all the pain I've suffered since I met you must be retribution for my stupidity back then! <laughs> Larry 
Yes. It's a pity Mr. Tail didn't devour you. He might have recovered his power and turned the Sienjo upside down. Just like Ignamar did. Grudge? How shallow. If you must know the forces behind our actions, there's a pinch of envy. Envy towards the potent emotions you corporeal beings have. Then there's a dash of aggression. The desire to see whether the heliobi or bodies of flesh and blood are stronger. Lastly, there's a drizzle of desire. We desire to possess your physical bodies so we can eat, kill, love, and hate. <sighs> we heliobi were carefree life forms. But we're tainted with the illness of humanity once we came into contact with it. It's humanity's fault for having such intense emotions and desires. Now we can never, never return to the purity of our past. I want to be free again. I want to return to the cosmos. Mr. Tail, you don't want to regroup with the fragments? You don't want to be your tail forever? Why don't you return with me to the great beyond? Don't get ahead of yourself, Shearus. That's impossible. Mr. Tail was sealed by the judges of the Ten Lords Commission. He can't escape, and neither can you. Ah, the door just opened on its own! Let's scream! I feel much safer with you here. Still feel like I'm gonna faint, though. May the Arbiter... The door will not open without the proper curse. The door will not open. The door will not open without the problem. see a similar mirror when I was dragged in? That sound. Well, well, this way. What's going on? That voice sounds familiar. Oh, uh, 
Are you in the mirror? I finally found you. Madam Shreyi? Fixtral Garden has been enveloped by an unknown power. You must be careful. We still haven't found Miss Gwenaithen. I don't... The task at hand is to save you from this illusion. Come, pass through the mirror and come to our side. Garden? Hmm. So many bronze mirrors. Could it be that? Uh, you're right, boy. This place is changing. It's trying to stop us from escaping. But one of these mirrors must contain the exit, right? Let's check them all. in Fixtral Garden is getting worse. Why have you not left? Is something the matter in there? Over here! That sounds like the real Madame Shui. What? The real Madame Shui? Are there pretenders inside the illusion? I see. Do not be afraid. Huo Hua knows me well. She will be able to discern me from the counterfeits. <laughs> You must trust yourself. Come. But... Whoa, whoa, sweetie. Come to Big Sky. Uh, yuck! Let's go look at the next mirror. This is the exit, you useless brat! Constructive criticism! Hmm. Let's go look at the... The situation in Fixtral Garden... Over here! That sounds... What? The real... I see. <laughs> but what... You must trust... But... The situation in... Over here! What? The... I see. You must <laughs> Hurry, Huawa. Pass through the mirror and come. Wait! I want to ask a few questions to see if. Likely through some secret means. Uh Hurry, Huahua. Wait, I want. By decree of the Ten Lords, Spiritfarer Huahua is skilled and diligent, capable and worthy of officialdom. She is hereby. I still remember the decree for her promotion. That's her! This ha So, we're. Uh, mirrors again! What a surprise! Hurry, Huahua. This should be the last mirror. I need to ask you some questions about... She will be expelled after tonight's operation. She is not... Really? So I don't even need to write a resume? Stupid girl! This is obvious! So... Come here, Huawa. I need to ask you some questions about... Her caution is a skill all judges of the Ten Lords Commission should possess. <laughs> That's a funny way of describing coward. So... Come here. Uh, I need to ask... As a judge responsible for capturing criminals, her cowardice is a dereliction of duty. I will reprimand her severely once you leave the illusion. Huh? That doesn't... 
isn't so stupid girl this is so i'm not the best judge of things but these mirrors <sighs> not a single one is the real thing none of them show madame shrei as i know her to be that puppet judge never respected me but she also never let her guard down i've spent a long time working with madame shrei She's always known that I'm scared and timid, but she never told me off. The Ten Lords Commission never cared a wink about your frail constitution. You're the only one who makes a big deal about it. And as long as you don't drag me down, I don't really care how much of a coward you are either. What tail? Hey, hey, hey! Get away from me! See? People say good things about you. What are you gonna do about it? The illusion wants to keep us in, but it can't possibly keep expanding its borders. Huh? I think there's a mirror on that floating island, but it's a bit far away. Oh, could I crawl my way there? Quit <laughs> Ha! I didn't think you'd be able to. Hurry, Huahua. This... Uh, I don't want to go back the way we... Everyone is different. A judge is not a soldier, and they need it is the decree of the Ten Lords for Hua Hua to be elevated to a judge. There must Just what do those old fogies see in this coward? <gasps> Let's go! This is the You've returned safely. It seems the Ted- Madam Shrey, I'm so happy- Did you encounter anything strange on your way here? <laughs> no wonder she's a judge. Very perceptive. I understand. This isn't the time to deal with Cirrus. Fixtral Garden has been dragged into a powerful illusion by an even mightier Heliobus. And the spirit bearers who went to suppress it have lost contact with me. Huahua, if both Hanya and I are unable to suppress that demon, then you will have to defeat it. Huh? I won't be able to do it? I'm not as powerful as you two! I always brag- Do not underestimate yourself. A Heliobus cannot possess a body that is already possessed by another Heliobus. Such is your absolute advantage as a judge. Correct. However, Hua Hua has had many more years of training and is more experienced in fighting Heliobi than you. That is why the Ten Lords Commission is not down on our luck today. We're lucky that you have all returned at this opportune time. You hear that, scaredy cat? You're the ace of the Ten Lords Commission! The Heliobi are aggressive beings, but they cannot shake their desire for a flesh and blood body. And yet, during the 38 years you have worked for the Ten Lords, you have been caught on that point. None of the other judges can suppress the monster. Oh, but I don't think I've ever had to suppress Tail. I get friends. Ugh. I don't make friends with food. <laughs> Mr. Tail, puny fragments like us were deprived of Ignamar's power long ago. If a little girl can subdue us, then perhaps it's time for some humility. Shut your trap. Though Fury Nox is powerful, we have a chance of suppressing them if we can break them into multiple fragments. You have a sound plan, Your Honor. And since the stage is set, allow me to offer my assistance. Let's go. 